So how wide this has become, what I'm going to do is delete everything except for that one. And then I'm going to further taper this out. I'm going to taper it to the point where it's almost so thin that you can barely see it. And then I'm going to place it up here in my brushes. It's an art brush, and we'll call it art brush two. Oops, three. And this is why I made my own document so I can quickly get rid of these if I need to. So clicking anywhere, I can now have this show up. And look how nice and tapered that is, and look how what you can do with that. So I can think of all kinds of, you know, when you're when you're drawing the comic books and stuff and you need those really nice tapered lines, this is how you do it. Okay, don't forget you can flip it over and wipe it all out too. Now, anything can become a brush as far as that goes. You know, let's say I have a shape and it's kind of like a blunt pill looking thing. And I go in here and I fill it with black with no outline. That too can become a brush. Okay, why you would have something like that, I don't know, but it is a possibility. It's good for making big splotches. So play around with making brushes for a little bit and then go on to the next video.